Pastor Zillinger's Daily Devotions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Psalm 130, Sermon Text, Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchman for the morning, more than watchman for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plentiful redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. A few things to mark and make note of is one of the despair in this psalm, out of the depths I cried to you, O Lord, and please be attentive to my pleas for mercy, uh, and then moving right into that our iniquities are taken care of, forgiven. And I think this is an important thing, a distinction, a mark of the Christian church and of the Lutheran church is that we focus on where, when, and how do we get forgiveness today. It is not an event in the past, that's atonement. Christ Jesus died on the cross to atone for us and so that we are forgiven today and that we know this is how we fear, love, and trust in God. The greatest is that we go, oh, let's talk about where we get forgiveness, our baptism. Uh, absolution, communion, forgiveness of sins, those are the only means of grace that are given through word and sacrament. Now, granted, the word also offers forgiveness of the fact that when we hear that Jesus Christ died for our sins and we trust in what Jesus Christ did and what God's word says, then we're forgiven today. And I think that's another thing in this, of uh, that we wait for the Lord and hope in him and we hope in his word. Not just his character, not just in what we think about God, but what his word says. So that's why we go back to the word and say, this is what his word says, because it's so important. Yes, it's important about history. And yes, it's important about creation. And yes, it's important about um, uh, like you have psalms that are um, poetic and literary. Those are all very good. But ultimately, it comes down to it's important because when he says it, he means it and does it. And that's forgiveness of sins for us now our redemption, our salvation, our eternity with God. That's a great gift that we want to celebrate and tell people, especially when we're in the depths of our woe and misery, where we cry out to the Lord, we are forgiven in Christ. Lord, please forgive us and help us to trust in you. But then also remembering that he has washed away all of our sins, we're forgiven in Christ, that we have a different relationship. We're a child who's well-loved because of Christ Jesus, our Lord. The Lord bless your day as well as your week.